it rises out of a prairie, 35 miles from the center of the city that it gave birth to. The course it travels takes it past scenes of wild beauty. Long before there was Houston, there was Buffalo Bayou. It started 18,000 years ago, during the Ice Age. There was beauty here, wildlife in abundance, a natural marvel. To the buffalo that came to its banks and gave it its name, this river meant life. Memorial Park and the Hog Bird Sanctuary, upstream from the Museum of Fine Arts Bayou Bend Collection, is one of Houston's last closed canopy riparian forests along Buffalo Bayou. This natural treasure is teeming with wildlife. Harris County plans to re-engineer Buffalo Bayou and bulldoze these old growth forests. This ancient 18,000 year old waterway along the urban wilderness of Memorial Park and Hog Bird Sanctuary is home to wild red-tailed hawks, snowy egrets, great blue herons, and many more magnificent species. Unfortunately, these creatures, as well as the scenic beauty, are gravely threatened. There are low impact ways of restoring Buffalo Bayou without destroying this semi wild river system or the forests along its banks. In fact, the current plan would not work and would only wipe out native wildlife and forest habitat. The channel changes would negatively impact everything downstream as well and squander scarce public funds. The devastation would wipe out the tree roots and ground cover, which would prevent the river from having any ability to heal itself. Please stay tuned for Ecoology, and they'll be talking about Buffalo Bayou, her changes, and our challenges. Much of the vegetation that would be removed is actually along the borders of the bayou within Memorial Park. Uh, it would be beginning from around the South Picnic Loop, going down to the Hog Bird Sanctuary. And what is of greatest concern to us is that so many people really don't know about what's going on. Uh, one of the things that our students do study when they take canoe trips down the bayou is the, the geology of the bayou that will be, to a great degree, destroyed. And I'd like you to expound on that a little bit. In the banks, in the bottom of the bayou, when the water is low, there are actual outcrops of sedimentary rocks. 
That's a very rare thing here in Houston. It's, it's the most only rock and outcrop in Houston. In Houston. <laughs> you can see actual layers of sediment of sandstone interbedded with layers of shale when the water's low there. The, the river has, or the bayou, has cut down, eroded down into the bedrock, which is Pliocene, which is a couple of million years old. Uh, Pliocene and Pleistocene is the bedrock. Most of it's covered up with with, with Holocene and, and uh, Ice Ages, and then mentioned 18,000 years ago. Uh, the climate was a lot cooler and more and more rainy. It had a lot more sediment being um, delivered from even as far as the Rocky Mountains, uh, uh, which build up into river terraces uh, that have been cut down through by later erosion. And so we can see the Holocene, uh, Holoc the Holocene River has cut down through the Pleistocene deposits, and it's, it's pretty interesting. If they bulldoze that, all those natural features are gone. We'll be having. Uh, uh, what you might call Anthropocene <laughs> deposits. <laughs> Close-up of him, yeah. God, that was beautiful. There he goes again. I can't believe the shots I'm getting. He's, he wants to be shown in Hollywood. He's hamming it up for the camera. There you go, there you go. God, that's beautiful. Get this uh, tree that's falling. That's good tow wood. That holes it in the bag. That's good you know? tow wood. Tow wood doesn't, does its thing naturally if you just let and so it. So is this other one here. Yeah. That's got for some Yeah, if they just leave it alone. Several of they the just can't get their hands off the You know what that is? There goes the. Hey, it's coming this way, Frank. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right there over goes. our head. Yeah. Oh, oh, beautiful picture. Great white hair. Oh, wow. That looks like a great blue bit. Beautiful. 
That's after we've passed through the country club. Because there are actually, it's it's um, it's along part of the same side that's going to be. Yeah. Oh, look at that great blue hair. Wow, that was just beautiful. Look at the color of that. Just beautiful. Yes, it is. But the hill country is limestone. This is sandstone. Different hardnesses of the uh, you know, the Mose hardness scale. And what happens is, the fact is, on some of these outcroppings of uh, sandstone, you will see some of those holes as to where the hardened rock gets in there and goes in, goes in circles. I feel uh, a little light rain. Good. Well, we did for a little while there. There's another one coming up right here in front of me. Oh, oh, there we go. That's all right. It's part of the ride. Easy for you. Now we got it. It should be a reality show. Just make this into a video game. More teenagers to watch. Some beautiful sandstone strata we're about to crash into here. How many years old is That's 18,000 years old. Is that all? If we, if we run it. <laughs> I could live to 18,000. <laughs> Two, one. Oh, this is just beautiful. <laughs> Dripping banks. Referred to as the Beaumont Escarpment. That's all I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Waterfall. If, if we did get some replanting through here, think of what we could do. Turtle up ahead. Turtle on the left. Turtle, 11 o'clock. I think it's probably ready. Slider. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's an beautiful, old one. Beautiful. Because it's lost. The red? Oh, yeah. When they get older, they, they lose that red. Yeah. Yeah, this is the bird sanctuary. And they're being. We could show them better ways of protecting this embankment. Well, look at this, Frank. you got to get that this stuff. This yeah. shows it's not eroding. Yeah, because this is where they want to bulldoze. They want to bring in their, their heavy equipment on this side of the river. River left? Yeah, on River left. Well, but of course, Rob and Sauter could show them better ways of doing it. This has all grown in so well since last yeah, spring. Yeah, when we came here in March, it was not eroding. No, it's a depositional like area. They want to no, carve this plant. all up everywhere. It's healing itself so See, well. Yeah. Golden the there. They're yeah. yellow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Balance it out. I'm sure the drought was murder on this river, but oh, sure. uh, but it's it's healing itself. It's so yeah. important to show that that this river doesn't need to be re-engineered. Robin did this. River left. 
Can you see it? Yeah. No, what did she do? I don't see any Look, layer. The lower left, you can see the, the plastic. That's actually a Gabion system, but it's not wire, it's plastic. You'll see wire in a minute. But all of this was built up and it's working pretty darn well. These little willows? Yeah. You plug in willows yeah. as well, but it's okay, you want a reading 29 yeah, degrees, 45.615 west. 095 degrees, 25.656. Smart weed, I think it's called polygonum. Okay. Flowers up there, Frank. The what? That's false mint. Oh, okay. Say the name again. False mint. The clipper, I think it's the penis. Nuts set. Yeah. And smart weed? Yeah, I'll go get uh, wetland plants. Day flowers? That blue over there, and there's that uh, primrose, water primrose. Okay, primrose and day flowers. Still, yeah, he's fixing to go. Beautiful. Okay, so. well, that's better than anything we got last time. That was beautiful. That was, yeah, that was nice. Droopy brownish stuff. It's yeah. box elder right here. Box elder. Which yeah. is a maple. The water. Waterfall. This is some nice strata here, yeah. Bottom line is if we have that sandstone strata beneath all of this, and their and their aim is to scrape it and lay it all back, we're going to destroy that 18,000-year-old bed, and then we will have some problems. Archaeological site right here. It is a remnant of Camp Logan. Camp Logan. I don't know whether it was a, probably it was a, uh, a way of crossing the waterway. So we took the graffiti off the site of Sharnsville. That's way too detailed to get into that. Natural levees. Rivers exhibit bilateral terrace. That's what they do. Rabbits. That big white sand bag we saw in March. And we could see the ground cover starting, but now it's all grown in, yeah. Look, yeah. Look how that is. See, they're surveying this. They're getting ready to bulldoze through. North. 29 degrees, 45.588. West, 095 degrees, 25.714. And put north side of bio sandbag. 
We'll turn the boat and make it go radically left and put some speed in there. <laughs> we'll be able to do that. The MC begins to do a draw stroke right now. We'll be able to do that. Very good. This is going to be real tight. Right at Osprey. It's landed on that, uh, on the bank. Well, we're good for you to have no water. Now that system works. There we go. <laughs> that was a good shot. There's a turtle up there. Yeah. Is that a bird this on the water? This is so beautiful through here. God, see, this is a closed canopy. Look at this. Right down here, 120 yards to the left, is beaver habitat. We have looked at this river in so many different ways. We have respected it, neglected it, forgotten it. But it is not too late to come down to the river and fall under its charm. Situated in the middle of a major flyway, the bio attracts an amazing variety of migratory birds and people from all over the world come to the waterway to view them and other wildlife. Uh, here we are, major urban area in the path of one of the great uh, bird migrations in the planet Earth and having places where uh, you can interact with the natural environment, have a wetlands type feeling is very important. It is loaded with fish, it's loaded with raccoons, squirrels, snakes, frogs. It's just teeming with life. Human life as well, as more Houstonians look for ways to connect with their river. Every day, Houstonians work to reclaim their urban green space, to clean the river that has meant so much and could mean so much more. The solution to saving the bio is in our hands. Wow. Wow. Yes. Okay, oh, wow. okay. My gosh. He was just caring. He's mad. He says, I was having lunch and you guys disturbed it. When I think about the bayou, I, I think of a lazy, meandering stream, river. So to see these trees ripped out and the the whole natural system disrupted. Uh, it's a concern to me as a citizen. And when I hear of the environmental implications of everything that is happening, it's alarming. Everyone in this room is an environmental activist. Everyone in this room has a care about what happens for right now and for our future. I hear words like transparency when we were, especially in the mayor, mayor uh, race, mayoral races, people are talking about transparency and I want to remind everybody that transparency is not just going to a meeting and listening to what's happening. It's also uh, can imply more of a participatory idea of going to the meetings, having meetings early enough that some changes can be made based on public opinion because many times the people that are in the uh, 
quote back rooms or whatever are people who have money and developers are a lot of a lot of the situation in what happens in with the bayous in houston people want to get their bulldozers out and ride them and make a big uh make a big changes in the way nature is going in uh, memorial park especially is is it's not virgin, but it's very much more natural than most of the bayous in Houston, in Harris County. The area within Memorial Park is still relatively pristine, and so it, you cannot blithely say this is not important and shouldn't be protected.